Okay, a Mike Grimm's. He's typical of the politicians we have today who think that they can threaten, conjole, uh, beat up, and deny Americans their rights. These are our politicians today. If you look at what's been happening in my life, well, it seems that they can steal money using other federal workers and uh, people in the post office, banks, uh, insurance companies, lawyers, and including judges. It shouldn't surprise you after what the Supreme Court has done by taking away our civil rights and giving companies uh, uh, not sainthood, but uh, they're like a individual who still the Supreme Court didn't say they needed to pay taxes like everybody else. Maybe if they did, I could agree with the Supreme Court. But because they didn't and gave these companies a right to steal the election from the American people, I have a low opinion of the Supreme Court. At least those judges on the Supreme Court showed me that they can be bought just like our politicians. And when they get caught like Mike Grimm's, well, they just threaten us because they have the power they have the law behind them because they make the laws. And why do you think uh, all these free trade agreements have been done? It's to steal from you and me your jobs. Your rights as American citizens have been stolen. And we got to speak up. Tell these congressmen and senators we're not going to take it anymore, that we're angry, and that we want people to go to jail like the bankers, Diamond, for instance, uh, who have stolen money. I can name a whole bunch of banks that uh, have stolen money from me on the orders of a certain family. So. Are our politicians part of organized crime too? Are the uh, judges and lawyers and bankers uh, part of organized crime? Wouldn't you like to know?